Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Um, gonna get to a video here in just a second, but I got something important to show you first. Um, you know, people like me in the South, we have something that we can't live without, okay? Cannot live without it, right? Our lives would not be the same without this product. Now, I'm not pitching this product or anything like that, but, and you can't buy it through me, but that product is called duct tape, all right? This is a very important product, okay? I cannot stress to you enough how many times in my life this has come to my aid, okay? So I'm gonna show you what's going on here and then we'll get to the video. Hang on, I gotta flip the camera around. All right, all right. So we're here in my banjo studio, as you can see. And I don't know if you see it or not, but we got a problem. You see this right here? Oh man, there's a car coming by. We'll wait till that gets by us. All right. So as you can see, I have a problem here with my beautiful tripod. Okay, it has busted and it has been busted for a long time and it's sort of a running joke with John and I now because I haven't spent the you know 25 bucks or so it would be to replace because I don't know I just I don't know I've got an attachment to this for some reason anyway my last repair of my duct tape has worn out it has not failed me so don't think for a second that duct tape fails it just has worn out so what do we do we add more because that's what we do. All right, so let me repair this right quick and then we'll be on with the video. All right, hey everybody, the operation was a success. You're seeing this and the camera's not going Um, Yeah, duct tape saved the world. All right, so for today's video, I wanna to talk to you about the placement of your banjo and using a strap. Okay, now sometimes people want to play in between their legs like this um, and there's nothing wrong with that if that is really comfortable for you but I want to suggest something else to you for a number of reasons and let me just show them to you real quick. Okay, so first of all we sh you should already know that you don't play a banjo like this. You play it like this with the neck up. Alright, so you can reach all the frets and uh, it's just not stretched way out and your arms not like that all right so we already know to do that but when we play in the middle I want to show show you something okay where is our hand position it is it's over here and it's kind of past our center line okay and um, I just want to show you something so you can see this visually what happens to both hands if I take the banjo and go like this put it on my leg all right Banjo on my knee. Come on, y'all. What happens to both hands? All right. They moved over four or five inches. All right. Also, what happens to my playing area? All right. My playing area went from past my center line, all right, past the midpoint of my body, to right about at, just before it, and at. Uh, my midline of my body. Now, I will submit to you that that is going to be more comfortable for you to play. Can you hear my chickens? They are squawking. They sing when they're laying eggs. And there's all these spring birds everywhere. Oh, I love it. Alright. So, when you move it over to your knee, it's not really on your knee, um, it's back on your thigh, but when you move it over there, it's more comfortable, all right? So, and plus, like, let's say you're, um, you're playing, you might want to cross your legs, and if you want to cross your legs, you can't play it in the middle. So, do this, and, you know, that might be more comfortable for you, okay? Uh, that's something to try. Another thing, uh, you'll see people, especially when they haven't been playing long, they'll have their banjo tilted out at the bottom. And that's really, I think, so they can just see the strings easier and they don't have to look over the banjo to see the strings. Um, but it's a bad habit to get into. And what I mean, y'all, 
is this right here. This is our normal position, right? See how it's almost straight up and down, okay? I'm almost straight up and down with that movement. A lot of beginners will do this right here. And they might not even realize they're doing it. I'm sort of moving the neck out of the way. But they'll do this right here so they can just easier, it's easier for them to see the strings so they can find that string they're looking for. Uh, but that's a bad habit to get into, all right? First off, you're, you should be like this, straight, almost straight up and down, okay? Um, and really our movement is kind of like this. But uh, if you do it like this, it really cuts off a lot of your movement that you want to get out of this. So keep in mind that it, it, should, be, it should be almost straight, all right? Now I know we all have different anatomies and there's different things poking out everywhere. <laughs> And you have to work around those things, but you still need to have it almost straight up and down when it's on your lap, okay? And yes, you, it's, it makes it a little, little bit harder to see the string, so just tilt your neck over just a little bit or play, uh, play in front of a mirror so that you can see what string you're at if you're just starting out. Okay, the number two thing I wanted to talk about here, besides, of course, the all-important duct tape, is the strap, all right? Do you have to have a strap? No. Do I recommend it? Yes. And I'll tell you why. There's several reasons. Number one, you may want to play standing up someday. You may be somewhere with your banjo and there's not a good place to sit. And you may be getting up there on a, you know, an age and you don't really want to get in the ground. <laughs> and that's me right now. I don't really want to get in the ground. Can I get in the ground? Yes. But I don't want to. I'd rather have a chair or a stool or a stump or something to sit on. All right, but what if nothing's there? What if you're at a campfire or something and there's no chairs or just wherever? I don't know. You're somewhere and you you can't you don't have a chair. Get a little strap. You don't have to buy no fancy one. You can, but you don't have to. Um, get a little strap. And the other reason um, to have a strap is this right here. Watch this. When I put this on. I want you to notice something. I'm going to place it where I want it, which is my banjo position, you know, my playing position. But I want you to see what happens when I do that. Magic, right? See how that neck doesn't fall down? Okay. It doesn't fall down because of where I have the strap placed. Okay. Your placement is very important. We want our banjo to sort of be balanced to where that neck is up and not like a guitar. Okay. We don't play like that. So, how do I do that? Well, I have mine on this middle one right here in the back. You could have it on the middle one, or you could have it one down, or you could even have it one up. It's, it's wherever you want to have it on this side. But the crucial side is over here. And people, they, they, don't, they don't realize this a lot because they've seen guitars, and a lot of times guitars will have them right at the midline. We want to go way down below the midline for our strap, okay? And that's so that it, it holds up the extra weight that is happening over here, all right? And wanting to pull down. So I've got mine one, two, three, four down. You may want to have it three down. You may want to have it five down. Do, you know, move it around until you can do this right here because this is going to save you a lot of energy and it's going to make playing easier if you're not having to constantly be holding up the neck okay now does this slide yes look I leaned over a little bit and it slid all right can it slide yes if I'm jumping around playing is it gonna move yeah I don't really jump around play, playing but some people do y'all have seen them videos I'm sure but um, we want this strap to sort of help balance this and keep it up um, and that makes it easier to play it just does so get you a strap, put it on there, get it positioned where it will hold up this neck. Um, a lot of straps will come with these hooks and things. Be careful with those because you've put money into your banjo. And if you put a hook down here, even if it's a plastic hook, it can gouge into your wood there and mess up your banjo. Now some people like that look and they think it's cool. If you do, great, do so. If not, get you a little leather strap or a little shoot boot lace or something and tie it up and also that's good too because it's real quick and easy to change and move around so that's the two things I wanted to talk about and I don't want you to minimize this because this is important alright you want to be comfortable when you play you know essential 
essential equipment. You have to have it. But you, you want to be comfortable when you play. But you also want to make your playing easier. And if you... you Making it easier, uh, you don't want to play one day like this, the next day like this, the next day like this. You want to keep it very close to the same all the time so that your arm knows your hand. It just knows where them strings are. Everything is similar, like we're shooting a free throw, all right? You want to do your steps. You got to have your foot on that third, you know, rung from the middle. You got to have, you got to dribble the ball five times, you know, whatever, whatever your little mental game is there, you got to do that. Um, anyway, this is important. Keep that neck up. Use a strap and put it on your uh, leg there. And that will help you. We want to do all these little things to make playing the banjo more fun, more comfortable, and easier. You know, if we do it like this one day, I mean, that's silly, right? But, you know. Hey, I can do it. I should do it, right? Because it looks cool. No. Keep it the same. Every day. I want to show you something. Let me see if I can do this before they move. But I want to show you something. I bet they're going to move. Let me see if I can grab this camera and show you. Oh, I can't. Darn it. I can, I can. Can you see my little babies? They love sitting out on the porch. That's so cute. Okay. So, you got your marching orders? Get to it. Uh, have a beautiful, glorious day. And I want you to always remember that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.